Hey friend, you want to learn how to record your online course videos, right? What if I told you that it could be so simple for you to record everything right at your desk using your phone, some free software, and a game-changing application available for iPhone and Android? I'll break this down so that it's super simple for you with step-by-step -step guidance so that you can use your phone to create engaging and high-quality video content for your next course. The bonus tips I'm going to give you at the end of this video could literally save you hundreds to thousands of dollars depending on how much you're selling your course for. You don't want refunds and people being disengaged with your course content, so we're gonna cover those bonus tips at the end of this video. If you're new here, I'm Matt, your YouTube channel Sherpa, and this channel will bring you tips, tools, and tutorials for success with video marketing. If you're a community-focused coach, creator, or consultant, I'd love to have you join the community by hitting that subscribe button. So the first thing you need to do is install the Camo webcam for Mac or PC on your phone. It's available for both iPhone and Android, keeping in mind that at the time of this video, the Android version is early access. Using this app is the closest you can get to having a pro camera without having to use a crappy web camera, and it honestly destroys all the web cameras on the market for image quality and controls. As a quick note, what you're about to see is the pro version of this application, which is a paid upgrade, and in my opinion, it's totally worth it. Your next step is to go to reincubate.com slash camo. Reincubate is the name of the developer, and camo is the name of the software. This website will automatically detect if you're on Windows or Mac, so you just go ahead and install that software for free right on your computer. The next thing you need to install is OBS Studio. This is also free software to download and install. You can find it on this website, streamlabs.com. If you're not familiar with OBS Studio, this software can be used for live streaming and producing content. Next up, open your OBS software and you're gonna be able to add your sources. So you've got your phone here, and if you have a USB microphone, you can add it in as well, and you can control all of your audio and video sources from OBS. Now I know that it looks like it's complicated and overwhelming to get started with. I promise it's actually not that hard to use. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to connect all your devices up here, okay? So next up, we're gonna add the Camo app to OBS Studio. So open your OBS Studio software and in this panel where it says sources, click on the plus symbol and go to video capture device and we're gonna call it Camo App so that we can identify it. Click OK. This window pops up here, and the next thing we're gonna do under Device is select Reincubate Camo, and click OK. Now you probably also want to record a screen and you may have considered purchasing screen recording software, but you can do this for free with OBS. So let's click on the plus symbol, and we're gonna to go to Display Capture and you can say the name of the brand of your monitor or whatever you want to put here. You can say display number one. Next, click on the display box and make sure you have the correct display selected from the list. All of the displays connected to your computer should be listed here. Go ahead and click OK. Make sure you also add your microphone and if you have a USB microphone at your desk, this is a great time to add that into your sources. That may have already saved you hundreds to thousands of dollars with what I just showed you because you don't have to go buy a pro DSLR camera or invest in screen recording software. If that sounds good to you, make sure you hit that like button. In a moment, I'm gonna share some additional tips with you to help you create more engaging course content. Now check this out, down here, there's these little eye symbols. So I can switch between my sources by simply clicking on the eye symbol. Now you're gonna be able to use the buttons on the right hand side here in OBS to start your recording, stop your recording, Pause it so that you can keep a continuous video file and you have an entire course video with multiple sources in just one video file. This is gonna save you time, effort, energy, and possibly even money if you're working with a video editor. Ready for your bonus tip? Make your course content more engaging with visual breaks. With this software and this setup, you can have your main camera, you could use your phone as a top-down shot and you can also switch between those sources while maintaining a single video file. This is saving you time. Now check this out, I can simply go like this. I can go ahead and click on this eye symbol and then I can switch to this display, which is my laptop screen. 
I can then switch to the Camo app, turn this source off, and while I'm teaching, I can add additional points on the screen, creating more movement in the shot, making more drawings and things like that to make the actual video recording more interesting, more engaging. You can draw stuff here and have fun with this. Make sure that when you address the camera, you're always looking into the lens. Try to smile as much as possible and bring that energy, regardless of how you know boring some of the subject matter that you might cover could be. By bringing more movement and different camera angles and graphics even into your course content, making it more engaging, paying attention to those little details, you're going to create a course that people are more likely to actually make it through and they're also going to be less likely to ask for a refund on your course. If you're a course creator and you haven't started building your YouTube channel yet and you'd like to actually leverage it to support your course launches, your growth as an entrepreneur and build a community, I've got a resource for you in the link in the description below which will give you some actionable tips to growing your YouTube community to your first 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you back here on the channel in a future video.